Okay, my name is uh, DC and I'll be talking about underrated movie scenes. In this one, this is my first episode, I'm going to be talking about the There is a Kingdom, There is a King Aquaman scene in the Justice League. That's the Snyderverse 2021. Yeah, I really do like that scene. I do feel it's underappreciated because what Zack Snyder tried to do in those movies was to humanize the heroes. And what he would do, he would have these scenes whereby sometimes the heroes would be down or they would just, I don't know, really express, but show human emotion. They would be the most powerful, powerful people, but they would have a moment where they would be like, where you would relate and say, yeah, I found myself doing that. In that Aquaman scene where he saves, I think, some sailors and then goes to the ocean, he goes while he's drinking a very big glass of beer. And in that moment, the song starts, there is a kingdom, there is a king. What I like about, what I like the most about that scene is that you do not see the king of Atlantis. You do not see a superpower, uh, a superpowered hero that can, um, control sharks. Uh, I don't even, can Aquaman control alligators? I think so. Who knows? Uh, you see a man that seems to be lost. It seems as if he doesn't own any of those titles. He seems as if he is lost. It seems as if he does not even care that he's the king of Atlantis. All you see is a man trying to live life up until he dies. That's what I like about that scene. He doesn't really... You can't tell that's king of Atlantis. And the best part is that you could imagine yourself doing that too. Grabbing a bottle of beer and then just moving. While it's the song plays in your head in the cold and jumping into very, very cold water. That's what I like about that scene. It humanizes him in the fact that he also seems to have problems. And I just like the way he walks out. And as the wave splashes upon him, he just jumps into the water. That is definitely an underrated scene because, I don't know, in a scene, yes, there was a lot of slow motion, but the slow motion... Okay, Zack Snyder does use a lot of slow motion, but in this case, it made so much sense. It made so much sense for him to use that slow motion because it conveyed Aquaman's character in a way that he is a powerful man, but he's having a human moment where he just says, ah... What the heck, I don't care anymore. Yeah, but that is uh, episode one of my underrated movie scenes episodes. Not episodes, sorry, uh, takes. I think I'll be doing one every day or just when I remember another scene. Unfortunately, I was not able to show any footage because I am afraid of copyright. So I might just put some pictures for you to see. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be something. But yeah, stay tuned for the next one.